Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes? Okay. Um, well, thanks. Um, yeah, this paper talks about uh, gender bias, this, and, and I have to acknowledge here a long list of co-authors. So, um, um, myself, Annette was also part of uh, this paper, Randy Christensen from the UK, um, Thais Alves from San Diego State University, Diana Bastos da Costa from uh, Salvador Bahia, what's the, yeah, Brazil, uh, Kristen Parrish from Arizona State University, and also Cynthia Tsao for Consigli. Uh, so it's a long list of authors. We work collaboratively to deliver this paper and we all uh, contributed to make it happen. Unfortunately, only Annette and I could be here in the conference, but otherwise some, some else, somebody else will be present. Okay, so uh, the title is pre pre pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, it's gender bias in three main topics, career development, um, so we um, work engagement and we're talking about the, we, we, the owner, architecture, engineering and construction industry. And uh, we, we, we also relate this at the end with lean. So uh, bias, what is a bias is a deviation from the norm and, uh, and that, that's given by social norms. Um, a bias can be uh, either um, conscious or unconscious and very subtle. Um, and the term gender bias, it's meant to, to denotate that there is a, a, a preference or a, or a prejudice against the norm, okay? Uh, oh, and in this case, we're talking about one gender over the other. We only use two genders for this research, male and female, okay? So uh, previous studies have demonstrated uh, that there are gender bias in other industries and, uh, and, and also in, in terms that there are more prejudices towards women. Uh, in the workplace and also in STEAM uh, education. Um, this paper focuses in only in the construction industry and, and it's, there's been less discussion about this in the construction industry. So we think it's very important to um, start talking about this. Um, and, and there's also uh, some literature that says that less women is uh, I mean, the more women are reluctant to to join the construction industry because it's uh, it's it it's been seen as a male-dominated uh, workforce. And just look around here, this room. Okay, <laughs> I don't think we need proof for that. <laughs> um, okay, so our questions uh, were. Uh, does gender bias exist in the OAC industry? Uh, how does gender bias impact recruitment and promotion? How does gender bias impact work engagement? Uh, and the last question is, do lean principles translate into more equitable experiences in a career development and work engagement v, uh, because you're using lean practices and supposedly lean practices are about respect for people, okay? Uh, so what we did, it's just, this is just an exploratory re uh, research. We don't have any definitive questions. What we did was make a survey to answer those questions. And, and we, uh, we put this in social uh, network uh, platforms and we, uh, we had 153 survey respond respondents and we ask both women and men. So 53% for, for of the respondents were women and 47% were men. Uh, we had answers from 22 countries uh, and, and in some of them were using lean and some of them were not using lean practices in, in, in their projects. Uh, and then we used the data to make a quantitative analysis and show you the results. 
So, okay, let's go to the results. In, in general, um, the perception, so on the left side, it's, it's woman, and on the right side, it's men. Can I? So this is woman, and this is men. And the question was, do you feel that you have been, uh, you have perceived gender bias in your work? And, uh, sorry, have you been positively affected and this is negatively affected. So uh, the gray area is no, never. So you can see there's more, uh, women are more affected by gender bias positively and negatively. And uh, it's, it's, again, this is perceptions. And so a larger portion of men, this is around 70% or more. 75%, uh, they, they say uh, they have never perceived any negative bias in their job, whereas a large number of respondents said yes, at least once, and there's like variance between frequencies. And in terms of positively affected, a less proportion of women said that has never been affected positively, and, and then more men think that this has never affected them. Okay. Uh, what about, uh, so in the recruitment process, the question was, um, have you feel you have n not been hired or because of your gender? Okay. And most men said uh, no. And this is about, um, uh, yeah, 4% that uh, men that said that in their careers, they had an answer in the recruitment process that le led them to think that they were not hired because they were men. And in it, whereas uh, about 26% of women that answered their, the, this question said, yeah, I was not hired because they, they asked me uh, uh, if I was going to have kids so, and, and things like that. So this is uh, female recruitment rec rejection examples range from directly uh, receiving inappropriate comments, so this is not a job from women, directly, plain, like that, or a sub more, subtle, more sub subtle questions or microaggressions when they ask about, okay, what's your plan, are you trying to get, uh, I mean, are you planning on having family, and, and then it's not, again, this is, this is perceptions, this is not proof, we didn't, uh, went there to check if, if the respondents were uh, being rejected or not. Uh, in terms of the promotion process, uh, no male ever I mean, reported that th they were affected by their gender uh, because um, um, they were not promoted due to their gender. Nobody said, yes, I had an experience, whereas um, uh, 26 per, no, about 30% of women said yes. I had uh, experienced delay in my uh, promotion process and I perceived this as because I, I, I was a woman. Um, and the main reasons were um, uh, that they, they were perceived as less qualified than their male uh, colleague, colleagues, colleagues and they uh, got, uh, and, and they saw male colleges that had the same roles and responsibilities and capabilities being uh, promoted faster than, than, than women. Uh, also differences in salary uh, were, were, were reported as examples. Uh, also reluctance to give titles of positions of powers to women doing the same job as men. And some uh, women, uh, um, yeah, did not report it that the evaluation process was hidden and it was um, also, they perceived it was due to gender bias. Uh, ideas not taken seriously, this is the big di difference. This is the, that this was shocking for us. Uh, so about, yeah, I don't know, like 6% of males reported, yeah, some, like one time they didn't listen to me because I, I think it was related because I was a man, whereas 62% of women had experienced at least once that their ideas were not taken seriously because they were women saying it, okay? Uh, again, perceptions, there's no proof, 
This is what they, their, their respondent said. Uh, so uh, from the 42 answers that we received, sorry, it's super uh, small, the main reasons w that m uh, women reported is or, or main uh, categories of vocations where this happened was, well, they just, they promote an idea and they were just not listened or ignored. Um, they were spoken over or interrupted by men or uh, men uh, repeat the same idea later on and everybody agree with that idea, okay? And, and then uh, the other way is like just not being recognized for, for, an, for a woman's idea, okay? So, um, yeah, this, this is very, it's, it, it goes in the, in, in the same direction that the literature actually, I mean, the reasons and the explanations of the dynamics. So uh, we ask another, the last question is like where, I mean, if we divided the groups on uh, either they had some, they were implementing some lean experience, some lean in their pr uh, projects versus not implementing lean in their projects and we ask, and we saw the difference in the previous questions. So just in the general um, uh, question of have you experienced gender bias uh, in, in the promotion of ideas because we think, uh, in lean ideas, I mean, we, we, we talk a lot about uh, respecting people and getting ideas from our people to improve. So we thought that uh, in uh, jobs implementing lean practices, that will be better, right? But we found the opposite. It's actually worse. Uh, and it works for both men and women, which is, uh, thank you, which is interesting. We found a higher proportion of reporting that their ideas were not listened by both by men and women. One explanation, I mean, why this is happening, it's maybe there are more ideas coming out <laughs> when you are in a lean job. I don't know. Uh, we don't have we, we don't have enough data to to understand why, but this is what the the, the interviews showed. Uh, so, in conclusions, uh, both women and men perceive gen uh, gender bias in the OEC industry. Uh, women perceive that their gender has, a, re uh, has a, a reason not to be recruited, not to be promoted on time, and not to be listened uh, in the, in their when sharing and promoting ideas. And, of, and that the third one, like the promotion of ideas, was the the biggest gap we found. Uh, and, and regardless of lean implementation, that we didn't perceive like an, uh, an inc uh, decrease in biases in, in terms of ideas not being heard. Um, in, in general, female respondents present more negative perce perceptions about gender biases, uh, how this affects their work lives. Um, so this is important because women, I mean, you're even though this is not a, a proof, I mean, you, we cannot go and prove this person was not recruited or, or promoted, um, it affects the perception of what is possible. I mean, what do you pursue as a woman in your career? Okay, and, and most male respond, respondents recognize that they observe gender bias, but paradoxically, most, mostly um, the more men think there's no point on tr trying to change this. I mean, there's no value on implementing um, um, programs or strategies for correction. They don't think it's necessary. More men think it's not necessary than men, than women. Okay, and 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 both the majority of men and women explicitly wish to have better programs or delivered actions to overcome gender bias in the OEC industry. That's it. Thank you very much, Paz. <laughs>